Central New York's most accurate forecast. Hello, Central New York. Good evening to you on this Sunday. Another delightful day. And yeah, we had to dodge a few showers during the afternoon and now early this evening, especially near and south of Thruway. You're looking live with our poppy cam. Look at that rain shaft. How cool is that? Dark base cloud, cumulus cloud. The rain, you can see it falling from the cloud. Very, very cool stuff. You got the Janesville Reservoir there in the foreground, on Dyke Lake in the background behind that little bit of rain that's coming out of the cloud. Cool stuff. Again, that's our Pompey Camp. Let's take a look at the numbers from today and had a high of 78 degrees. So, with that sun through the early afternoon, it's amazing what that mid May sun can do. We just jumped. Well into the 70s here in Syracuse. It was the warmest spot in central New York. Most areas only saw low and mid 70s, and a few spots only saw upper 60s. So we were the jackpot, the winner here in Syracuse as far as temperatures go. At a morning low of 45, it's pretty normal on the low side, a little bit above normal on the high side. Um, take a look at the rainfall in Syracuse, nothing measurable. Had a few sprinkles in the city. Uh, on my way in this afternoon. There's a little bit of uh, rain there in Jordan. Wheatsport area, four hundredths of an inch with a little bit of a shower the last couple of hours there. Groton, Ithaca area, yeah, almost a tenth of an inch for you. Burdett, same deal. But you can see all these zeros. Most areas dodge the rain. But again, there were a few spots that got a little wet. Live Doppler 9 showing. A little shower there uh, just west of Moonville, near, north of Western. We zoom it in here and you can see I uh, had a couple of light showers or sprinkles around the city of Syracuse in the last hour. See those showers just south of Beeville, especially so near the Thruway, um, near Lysander and back toward Wheatsport. They're kind of collapsing as we lose the heating of the day. They will continue to collapse and go away. Live Doppler 9 also showing. You got a few showers out toward Ledyard, uh, Dryden, um, just west of Ithaca. I got a little shower for you as well. Uh, Farsilia got a heavier shower just south of you. And uh, Madison County, for the most part, mainly quiet. There again, those couple of showers up across the southern Tug Hill. Temperature wise, uh, low 70s, Fulton, Syracuse, Rome, low and mid 60s, where we have more clouds and a few showers, Cortland, Ithaca area. Take a look at the satellite radar. A little trough, that's the cause for those few spotty showers this afternoon. Remember, I was talking about that near Chicago yesterday at this time? So it's moving through right on time, right on schedule. It will work its way slowly away from us later tonight and tomorrow, and our weather will be quieter as a whole. I mean, it was pretty quiet today, but tomorrow, even quieter than today. Timecast shows the showers that are out there now, they go away over the next three or four hours, and we go through the night with some clearing, maybe a little patchy fog, especially south of Thruway, where we had those showers around this afternoon. Lows in the 40s. Tomorrow, it's a winter with some sunshine, temperatures in the mid 70s, nice little breeze. Enjoy. Jet stream, watch this for much of the week. It goes north of us. What does that mean? Looks like a nice stretch of summery weather for us here in Central New York as a result of it. Take a look at this. We got temperatures near 80 with some sun Tuesday into the 80s Wednesday. It turns a little muggier. Maybe a spotty afternoon storm Thursday. Better chance for a few storms late in the week into the start of next weekend. Kellyanne.